What originally attracted to me was the uh, the cover, the original cover of the book, that grizzled old guy on the cover. And I was looking for a project to uh, direct my father in, Lloyd Bridges. And I saw that guy and I said, oh, my dad could play that grizzled old guy. And uh, then I, I read the book and I was knocked out by the book as a children's book. I was wanting to make a film that my kids could see. But also, as an adult, I just loved the story. Uh, the poetry of it this kind of had a magical quality, and I thought it would be an easy book to get made, but I was proven wrong, you know, even though it was, you know, taught in schools, over 12 million copies sold. Uh, it was also on the banned books list. Uh, so it was quite, you know, a controversial uh, book and uh, it took all these years and the Weinstein Company and Walden Media to finally get it made. Lois uh, was such a, an important element in the whole process of making the movie. I'm uh, happy that she was uh, you know, so supportive and uh, uh, you know, one of her first um, her first statements to us was uh, that it wasn't important for her that we matched every fact of the book, but that the spirit of the book remained intact. And uh, I'm happy to say that um, it it has, and her you know that's her opinion and mine as well. I'm I'm really pleased with the way it came out. Being a lover of the book, I wanted to make sure that people who uh, love the book as well would be happy with it. And um, I think. Um, Pretty certain they will be. Well, working with Merrill was uh, kind of a dream come true. I always, always wanted to do something with Merrill, and uh, we met years ago. Our uh, girls were on the same soccer team together, uh, but you know, playing with her was just. Uh, just so wonderful, and she's so uh, such a pro, and so open in a kind spirit, and uh, that uh, that kindness and, and the excitement of her work would ripple through the company. You know, you could see how much fun that Meryl was having, and how much she enjoyed doing what she was doing, and, and that uh, kind of reminded everyone, saying, "Oh yeah, this is kind of fun. You know, what we're doing, we get to work with Meryl." And, You know, the movie takes place in some future time, but it's very reflective of, of what's going on now with our own technology and so forth and the power of that. And our ethics really haven't caught, caught up with our technology. I think that's uh, important to question that.